Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi there, my name is Marina. Nice meeting you. And if you are an OG, welcome back to the channel. So, if you watched our previous video, we are in a village and we are hiking. Yesterday we went to Afajatu. And sorry guys, yesterday my energy was a bit down because I was really tired and couldn't sleep properly. But today I'm trying to be more energetic so that the video will be fun. So today we are going to the Tagbo Falls. So I told you earlier that there are three sorry sites here. There are Twin Mountains, Tagbo Falls and Afajatu. We made it to Afajatu yesterday. Today we are going to Tagbo Falls. It's a waterfall. But the Twin Mountains, I don't think I'll be able to go there because we are going back to Accra today. But come along with me and let's see the journey through to the waterfalls and what's around there. Okay, so come with me guys. While we journey to the waterfalls, let's learn something new. So it takes relatively about 45 minutes to an hour to hike to the waterfalls. You should be walking through tropical farmlands, rich vegetation and cocoa farms, and also cross three foot bridges before getting to the waterfalls. Now, when our forefathers arrived in Liati Wati and they discovered the river, they realized it was a sacred river and there was some spirits behind it. They saw so many signs according to them and so they decided to name it Togbe, which means priest, which we have now adapted as Tagbo, hence the name Tagbo Falls. Tagbo Falls flows from the Ghana Togo range, specifically from a town in Togo called Kuma. The water is always cool and clean, hence the people in Yati Wati cook with it, they wash with it, they do a lot with the water. However, it is a taboo to eat fishes or crabs from the river. Also, there are no dogs in the village as it is believed that dogs can see spirits and will scare off the entities that protect the town. Have any idea what waterfalls is called in Ebe? It's called Chikepe. If you've been buying watching leaves in Ghana, well, <laughs> these are the watching leaves. So the funny thing is it's a lot here. Nobody even grows them. It comes by itself. The waterfalls plays an important spiritual role in the community of Liatiwati. According to them, the spirit of the river and its children bath on Fridays, so no washing is allowed in the river on Fridays. The waterfalls is surrounded by rich rainforest and is approximately 60 meters or 196 feet high. And one last thing that I want to leave with you guys is that any pot that has touched fire cannot be washed in the river.
Mega Pavila Zamenamu Mega Pavila So if you come with your young kids and they are not able to climb the mountain with you, they could definitely follow you to Tagbo Falls as it's not that stressful. And you can have your picnics around here. It's super cool here at all times. And swimming is not allowed because the depth of the water is not known. So they want to keep you guys safe, okay? Back to where we started from, and it's currently 8 8:05. We started the journey around 6:20, so in and out, we rested a bit at the falls. So I say roughly it took us two hours to go and come back. And my verdict on the journey: so yesterday, climbing the mountain was a bit tough for me. So I don't know if climbing the mountain gave me like the stamina to be able to walk, and it was pretty easy compared to like going to the mountain there were a bit uh, like a bit of tiny hills here and there but it wasn't that difficult to climb as compared to the mountain so it's a beautiful journey you, you get to connect with nature if you're a nature lover and you're adventurous it's a very beautiful journey that you can come to like it will help you rest it will help you ease all the pressure journey to Leatiwati and come and enjoy a beautiful eco-friendly environment come and connect with nature climb the mountain go to the waterfalls you can do all that in one day but you can also come in rest there are a lot of guest houses around you can rest and then climb the mountain on one uh, day one go to the falls the next day you can even make it to the twin mountains so this is a special invitation to you you who is watching me come and enjoy yourself okay so there's a tourist reception here when you come in here this time, you first come here and then they're going to brief you about the mountain and then the waterfalls as well then from there they get you a tour guide to guide you through to the mountain and the waterfalls I think there's an amount you are going to pay here. If you come in a group, there's a sitting area here where you guys can relax to enjoy your meals before you depart. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment down below if you've ever been here before. And if you would like to come here, also comment down below. Love you guys. Peace out. Mega Favila Zamenamo, Nadena Hopera Siu